Hi, Nicole here and welcome back. So as promised, I said I'd take you through these worksheets and show you how to use them. So yesterday we looked at turning on this first layer and this held the instructions for our first basic stroke. Before we get into actually using the guide, I'm just going to show you how to use the guide first of all. So as I mentioned, we use this layer above here, which is blank, and these are all your layers in this panel. And you can think of layers like they are what they say, they layer on top of each other. I guess you can almost think of them as like transparent pieces of paper that can sit on top of each other. So if I draw a squiggle on this one layer and then create another layer and draw another one on top, these are independent from each other, even though they are overlapping. So if I select my move tool, which is this arrow in the top navigation, see I'm on this layer 18. That was the one I just created a second ago. I can now move that independently to that layer underneath. So that's what we mean when we talk about layers. So in order to clear something that you've done, if you wanted to reset the layer, say I had filled this practice sheet. So I'd finished my tracing row at the top and I'd filled in these reference rows below here. Say I'd done all that and I just wanted to use this same practice sheet again, just tap on the layer and this little fly out menu, choose clear, and that will clear the layer. But keep in mind that that is deleted. So if you did want to keep a backup of that layer, there's another option you can do. And I can just two finger tap here to undo what I did so I can show you another way. So if I wanted to keep that layer though, I can turn off the visibility just by this little checkbox here and tap this plus sign to add a layer above it. Now I've added a new layer and I can just continue on with my practice. And that's basically how you use your layers. If you wanted to delete the whole layer, you can just slide it to the left here and tap on delete. When you're learning anything new, it seems like a lot of information, but don't rush yourself. Procreate's very intuitive. And if you just learn step by step as you need to make an action, you will catch on really quickly. You don't have to memorize everything at once. You know, you can just learn as you go. When you have a need to learn something, you can learn it and then you're more likely to remember it. So this introduction you downloaded is the basic strokes for copper plate calligraphy. So I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can use this guide. So of course your copper plate brush needs to be selected and you can find that in your imported folder as we did yesterday. And now we want to use the guidelines themselves. So there's instructions at the top here that are good to read. They just ensure that you understand how the stroke is composed. Even if it might look quite obvious and like it's not necessary, just give it a quick read just to ensure that there's nothing that might be missed. So we know this brush is pressure sensitive and this first stroke is our full pressure stroke. By putting your pencil on the screen and pressing with full pressure, you don't have to press extremely hard to activate it and that will engage that heavier pressure stroke and I know I've gone outside of the lines here and I'll talk about that in a minute so another look at that this is just an important tip to know is to just set that pressure before you move into the stroke to avoid like a tapering kind of entrance and exit I'll show you why if you don't do that if you start applying a light pressure and move into the heavy and then lighten up again you get this sort of taper and gradual entrance and we don't want that for this particular stroke. We want this to remain the same thickness throughout and that may look like a really easy stroke to make but in fact it takes practice and time to achieve that consistency. And as I said here I went over this guideline for a reason so I'll tell you about that now. You'll notice there's this little icon here this blue icon and that matches this icon in our top right. This is your eraser icon. So when you actually tap on your eraser icon you'll see that you get this drop down and it's the same brush library available as there is for your brush tool. So I'm going to go back into my imported folder here and choose copper plate. So that will keep this consistent. And this top toggle up here is your brush size. So you can just reduce or enlarge that as needed. So you'll notice the downstrokes in copper plate, they have a square tip. So if you can see here, that's a very straight cut edge. 
Now the digital brush version has a rounded tip as you can see here and unfortunately it's not possible to get that square tip on this digital brush. So in the digital version we just have this extra step of cleaning up our downstrokes just to make it more in line with the traditional script. So that just removes that little beveled edge and gives it a straight finish. And I'll just run through a couple more strokes before I leave you to it. Stroke number two is your pressure and release stroke and we have two variations here along version and a short and you'll notice we have these dotted lines and this colored hints here this is telling us that this is a downstroke and then moving into an upstroke and as you can see here this downstroke is thicker and the upstroke is thin and you may have already seen that in your own exploring yesterday and in this demo is that this brush is pressure sensitive so when we use a light pressure it's nice and thin and when we increase our pressure it gets thicker and that's an attribute of copper plate calligraphy, these contrasted strokes. So you can start with that heavier pressure and then you lighten up as you near the baseline here and follow it round with a lighter pressure to end with a thin stroke. And then you change to your eraser and just tidy that stem at the top. Remember your eraser icon. So there's another little hint throughout your guides and this tells you the start point. So we've got our start point here and we know that these thicker strokes are down strokes using a heavy pressure and you can see that key up here. So this is the color key that reminds us about the pressure. So that's in orange for the downstroke, and then we transition to this blue for the upstroke. And you'll notice the heavy pressure starts to transition into a light pressure just before the baseline. So we ease up that pressure as we're approaching that baseline. So the guidelines are laid out so that you can trace the first row at the top. And then you have two spare rows below to practice on your own. So this is a way to build your muscle memory about these strokes. You get familiar with the flow and the rhythm and how the curves are shaped. And then you come down and repeat that on your own. And you have the first line of examples open so you can compare how you're going. So you know how to navigate through your guide via the layers now. You know about your eraser tool and you know about your brush tool. So that's a really, really good place to start. You've learned a lot in Procreate today and you may have seen how easy it is to zoom and pan just by pinching the screen and turning the canvas around. So you can position the canvas in a way that it's comfortable for your stroke. I usually have it on an angle like this. So zooming and panning is really easy in Procreate and I'm sure you'll get comfortable with that really quickly. So enjoy learning your basic strokes. If you have any questions or feedback, you can always get in touch with me directly. Just reply to any of my emails. But if not, anyway, I'll be speaking to you soon.